In the early 2000s, the streets of Baghdad were alive with the hum of daily life. Markets buzzed with activity, children played in the streets, and families gathered for meals. However, beneath this normalcy, political tensions were escalating. The United States and its allies were growing increasingly concerned about Iraq's alleged weapons of mass destruction and its leader, Saddam Hussein. As diplomatic efforts failed, the specter of war loomed over the nation. On March 20, 2003, the skies over Baghdad erupted in a blaze of fire and explosions. The US-led coalition had launched Operation Iraqi Freedom, marking the beginning of the Iraq War. Precision airstrikes targeted key military installations, and ground forces quickly moved in. The initial phase of the invasion was swift, with coalition forces capturing Baghdad within weeks. The fall of Baghdad led to the collapse of Saddam Hussein's regime. One of the most symbolic moments came when a massive statue of Saddam in Firdos Square was toppled by U.S. Marines, with the assistance of jubilant Iraqi citizens. This moment was broadcast worldwide, symbolizing the end of an era and the hope for a new beginning in Iraq. Despite the initial victory, the aftermath of the invasion proved to be chaotic and violent. An insurgency quickly emerged, comprising former regime loyalists, religious extremists, and foreign fighters. Cities like Fallujah and Ramadi became hotbeds of resistance, where U.S. and coalition forces faced fierce urban combat. The war, which many had hoped would be brief, dragged on with increasing casualties on all sides. The prolonged conflict led to a severe humanitarian crisis. Millions of Iraqis were displaced from their homes, seeking refuge in camps or fleeing to neighboring countries. Essential services like water, electricity, and healthcare were disrupted, exacerbating the suffering of the civilian population. International aid organizations struggled to provide relief amidst the ongoing violence. In 2007, the U.S. implemented a new strategy known as the Surge, deploying additional troops to Iraq to help stabilize the country. This surge aimed to provide security for the population and give the Iraqi government the space needed to establish effective governance. Joint operations between U.S. forces and newly trained Iraqi soldiers began to reclaim control of insurgent-held areas slowly improving the security situation. By the end of 2011, the U.S. had begun to withdraw its combat troops from Iraq. The official end of the U.S. mission was marked by a ceremony in Baghdad, where the American flag was lowered and cast. While the withdrawal was seen as a milestone, Iraq continued to face significant challenges, including sectarian violence and political instability. The Iraq War left a profound and lasting impact on the nation and its people. Memorials were erected to honor those who lost their lives, both Iraqis and coalition forces. The war's legacy includes the ongoing struggle for stability and the rebuilding of a war-torn country. It also sparked important debates about foreign policy, the costs of war, and the quest for peace. Amidst the challenges, stories of resilience and hope emerged. Communities began to rebuild, with new schools, hospitals, and homes rising from the rubble. International aid and development projects aimed to restore Iraq's infrastructure and provide opportunities for the younger generation. The spirit of the Iraqi people, determined to overcome adversity and build a brighter future, shone through. As the sun rose over Baghdad, it symbolized a new dawn for Iraq. While the scars of war would remain, the nation looked forward with hope and determination. The lessons learned from the Iraq War continued to shape global discussions on conflict, peace, and the resilience of the human spirit. The story of the Iraq War is a complex tapestry of sacrifice, valor, and resilience. It is a reminder of the profound costs of conflict and the enduring strength of those who strive to rebuild in its aftermath.